there, I'm Michelle Crockett, Editorial Director of Windows IT Pro. We're here at Microsoft Tech Ed 2010 in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm here with Rick Wilson, who's the Product Manager for Sherpa Software. How are you today, Rick? Hi, Michelle. I'm doing great. Thanks for having us in for the interview today. Absolutely. So we understand that um, it's the 10th anniversary for Sherpa um, Software. It, it is. We're really proud of the fact that Sherpa has survived for 10 years in these difficult IT yes. economy conditions, but we're still here. Right. Things are going very well. Company's growing, and uh, we're very happy about that. So, tell me about the evolution of the Mail Attender product, which I know was your that was like your launch product ten years ago. It, it is Mail Attender's where we started everything from, and uh, over the years we've continued to add features and functionality to that product to respond to our audience. The exchange uh, administrators are demanding more capabilities; they're facing new challenges, and we continue to add features to our product to help them manage the environment a little bit more effectively. What would you say is the most significant change in the release that's just coming out, your newest release? Well, our new release is uh, really focused on Exchange 2010. That's mm -hmm. the big news in the industry this year, and everybody has to be able to support that environment and work with it. So we've packed a lot of functionality into the product to address what the administrators have to deal with in the Exchange 2010 environment. So a lot of our readers are um, maybe on Exchange 2010 or even older mm -hmm. versions, and they're sure. actually reluctant to move because, of course, the, the mail data is mission critical to right. the business. So what would your advice be to them um, in pondering when they should move, when they could migrate to uh, 2010? That's a great question. We, we actually just did a Windows IT Pro white paper on ah. waiting to migrate and the fact that you can really delay that migration decision by using third-party tools like Sherpa Software to help fill in the blanks or fill in the cracks, if you will, mm -hmm on what exchange 2003 may not bring to the table. So mm -hmm. we're not convinced that it's an immediate decision people have to make, especially the 2007 people who have a little bit more time. Mm -hmm. The 2003 products aging a bit, those folks are gonna have to make some decision pretty soon. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that there's a perfectly reasonable path to stay on that technology for some period of time. So um, I know that archiving and um, you know being able to retrieve data is an important thing for exchange administrators, maybe right. more so than even in the past. So um, how does that tie in with Exchange 2010, the product itself, and then um, the enhancements that Sherpa brings? Sure. Well, as you guys know, Exchange 2010 introduced archiving in the Exchange right. product for the very first time, but there's some real limitations in the first release of that, which are supposed to be addressed in Service Path 1. But in the meantime, and, and maybe even if Service Pack 1 gets delayed, there's still no way to effectively manage that archive data for mm -hmm. retention policy type purposes, get it out of the main data storage store, or be able to uh, import PST data that might mm -hmm. be legacy data out there in your environment into your Exchange world, into your online archive mailbox, for example. Mm -hmm. So our tool allows administrators to create rules to do that in a very automated fashion so they don't have to uh, tediously go through a desktop at a time, find those PSTs and bring them into their exchange environment. And would you say that um, the Sherpa products are targeted toward a certain size of organization or are, is this a tool that- That's a great, great question. And, and I think the right answer is certain products fit more uh, different demographic size organizations. Mm -hmm. Mail attenders typically used by larger companies with a lot of desktops, um, large mail stores that they have to manage. Our archiving product probably positions more as an SMB product for those mid-sized businesses that need to manage their exchange space a little bit more effectively. And so um, if you just look at the exchange administrator and how that role has changed, um, especially with some companies um, thinking about putting exchange in a hosted environment, mm -hmm. um, how would you say the role of the exchange administrator has changed over the what we've seen, uh, especially in those small to medium-sized businesses, is they have a lot more on their plate. You know, mm -hmm. They're not dealing with just exchange. So they need tools that are going to help them get those exchange tasks done either remotely or behind the scenes so they don't have to babysit it a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think just in general with sort of IT restructuring and cutbacks, those administrators are dealing with a lot of additional tasks beyond just the exchange task today. So anything that they can find to make their job easier um, seems to be really interesting to them. Right. And that's the, those are the folks who typically come to us and say, look, I've got this problem I need to manage and uh, I need some help. Right. I think it's really interesting the 
place in the organization where the decisions about the mail data are made, too. It's just such an important decision. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure the, the IT administrator and the, the CIO, um, CTO titles um, are really taking this, you know, care and feeding and archiving of data very seriously. They are, and the IT admins are the guys who are taking that up the chain and saying, look, we need to find a better way to handle this to the CIO office to get the attention, the executive level attention on that particular business need. So you mentioned PSTs. I understand you have a, a little PSTs gone well thing going on. Tell we me do, about that. We, What's do. we launched a new product last year called PST Backup and Tender. Uh -huh. It's a workstation class product that will go out, find all your PSTs, wrangle them, if you will, and help mm -hmm. you bring them back to the central server. And uh, we launched that with a big promotion called PSTs Gone Wild at a Las Vegas show last year. So it seems so appropriate at the time. Las right. Vegas, PSTs Gone Wild. Right. And where is Sherpa based? We are right outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Great. Yeah. So you have any big other big celebrations going on this year to celebrate your 10th? No, we've got our hands full with 10-year mm -hmm. anniversary of the company and 10-year anniversary of mail attenders. So we're just focusing on that for now and, and enjoying the 10-year uh, the uh, life. Great. That's great. Well, I understand you're a Best of Tech Ed finalist. We are for PST Backup Attender, a new product. So congratulations on your, your finalist standing. Sure. And Appreciate that. Good luck tomorrow night. Thanks. So thanks again, everyone. We're here again at Microsoft Tech Ed 2010. This is Rick Wilson with Sherpa Software. My name is Michelle Crockett, Editorial Director of Windows IT Pro. Thanks.